G'day. Yeah, I know it's been a while in between tutorials and videos, but I've been rather busy. And with a new job starting, I'm even going to be busier, so I'm going to get on with this. I've been requested by one of you to make some tutorials on DVD Decryptor and DVD Shrink. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know me, there I am with my best mate. Okay. Now, when I'm copying a DVD that I've bought myself, not one that I've hired out from the video shop. Okay, naughty, naughty. Anyway, whatever, regardless of whatever you do. The first thing that I do is I try and use, or I try it out with DVD Shrink before I even bother with Decryptor. Because 99% of the time, Shrink will do the job, saving you half of the work. Now this is version 3.2. Now that's important, because earlier versions are just crap. But this is free, open source software. So just type into Google DVD Shrink 3.2, and you'll find yourself a site where you can download it. The same with DVD Decryptor. It's free. All right, so, and then um, on that 1% of the time when um, Shrink won't do the job, it'll come up with a message telling you that it can't get past the encryption, and that's when you use DVD Decryptor. Okay. Let's now make sure, like in my case, I have two drives. Make sure you've got the right drive selected. 18 files in this particular one. It's all ready to go, so we hit decrypt, and now it's starting to do the job. All right, this will take a while, so I'm going to hit the pause button because there's no need for you guys to sit here and wait while all of this happens. Okay, we're going quite nicely there, nearly done. Oh, isn't that nice? Make sure your speakers are turned down, otherwise you get shit frightened out of you. <laughs> All right, operation successfully completed. Copied 18 files, skipped zero files, so that's all good. Now, where those files are gone, in my case, it's gone to my D drive. That's the name of the movie, Swingers. Don't worry, it's not porn, it's a comedy. I actually found this on my front lawn one day. Weird. Anyway, if you're not sure where that is, just click here and it'll show you. See, in my case there. There's my C drive, this is my D drive with a whole pile of other stuff, and there's the particular one that we're looking for. Okay, so let's go there. Now that we know where it is, navigate there, my computer, best movies. I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> there it is there, swingers. Let's see what size it is, just out of curiosity. 3.74 gig. So really, there's no need to run this one through Shrink. What I would do in this case is I would bring up... Um, yeah, let me just click some stuff here. I'd bring up my Nero Burning ROM. Okay, Make sure you have DVD selected, of course. And this one here, DVD Video. Okay, And just click New. I'll just expand that. And again, go to the folder where the VOB files are. Here they are. Video TS. And that's them all there. So you just grab all of these and you drag them into Video TS. You don't worry about this Audio TS. There's nothing you put in there. Just just even forget it exists. You don't. It's all in the Video TS. And there it is there. 3750 meg. If I click that, burn, that would burn the to disk for me, okay? So that's it with that. All right, let me just get rid of that because I'm not going to do that. Let's just say that it was, you know, 9 point something gig and we needed to put it into shrink. Okay, let me just bring up DVD shrink. So let's pretend here. Let me shrink, there it is. What we do is we don't do open disk like you normally do. We go open files. And there it is there. So just click OK. That now we'll read all of that. Fast motion. Let me just hit pause. Right, don't forget, this is only if it's over 4.7 gig. Now 
just enlarge that. Now some of the things here you may not want. Oh, not in this particular one. But in some DVDs they have different languages and, you know, you're not interested in those. So, you know, like, let's say this was German and this was French and this was Spanish and this was Mexican, whatever. Italiano, you know, you just, yeah, uncheck those. Saves yourself a bit of space and stuff like that. So don't forget, we're pretending here that this is 4.7. Um, or I mean uh, 9 point something and we want to shrink it down to 4.7 so that's all ready to go then it's just a case of click the old backup um, you can set the folder where you want your temporary files to go to I generally do the desktop because it's easy accessible to get rid of so that's all go 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 click that and away you go this would now and this I got a reasonably well it used to be a reasonably fast computer I'd call it middle of the road now <laughs> I am doing an upgrade real soon see here it says that it's not encrypted so you know I could have done this one with DVD shrink straight up and not worried about decryptor but I did it for um, example's sake and plus it's the only legal DVD that I've got because I found it on the front lawn <laughs> All right, so that's it. Uh, when this is finished, I'm not going to wait. Um, it will then sort of spit it out and ask you to put in a blank. You whack in your blank and away you go. It'll do it all for you. Good job. All right. I'll do the tutorial on DVD shrink a little bit later because I'm running short of time and I have to get myself off to work shortly. All right. For those of you that have made positive comments, and, and even those of you that are just asking questions, um, I'm happy to help if I can. I get an average of three to four emails a day, which uh, doesn't take too long to answer. And uh, yeah, makes it worthwhile for me. All right, catch you later.